What is going on there Guardians, CG Gaming here and welcome back for another Destiny 2 video. Today is Tuesday or better known in the Destiny universe as the weekly reset day so in this video I'll go over everything that's been reset. I'm a tad bit late to the game with this video as my six month year old daughter has been really ill this week hence the lack of uploads but I wanted to make sure I got at least this video up. I'm hoping that she will be better within the next few days as I hate seeing her ill and I can also get back to a bit of a better upload schedule. Before you start any activities for the week, it's always a good idea to go to the tower first to nab as many bounties as you can carry to complete Ikora's weekly quest to obtain powerful gear by completing any 20 bounties. Of course, you've got some bounties to prioritize if you are running out of room, which are Hawthorne's clan ones and the Drifter's weekly bounty that rewards you with powerful gear. And while you're in this area, remember to pop over and see Eva if you need to complete more of her bounties as completing 40 of them will earn you the delicious Benefactor emblem. Also, with the reset, you can bake 12 more holiday treats for another powerful gear reward. Ada 1 will also have some more daily and weekly bounties for you to complete and today is the release of the third forge called the Aizanami Forge and Bungie released a new trailer specifically for the release of this forge which I'll drop a link in the description for you guys to go and check out. With it comes some new weapon frames, we've got the powerful bow frame and the powerful pulse rifle frame so I'm excited to see what these weapons will turn out to be and if they're any good. Moving on to everyone's favourite shop that they just love to chuck real world money at, we have the Eververse. Within the Prismatic Matrix, we have the Neon Helix Ghost Shell, the Cuddly Throwback Weapon Ornament for the Two-Tailed Fox, Never Throw Ornament for the Bygones, Get Your Dance On with the Competitive Dance, Fly Around in Ship that looks like a bug called the People's Pride, the Aqua Tusk Shell, Explosive Dance, Unraveling Star Sparrow, Age of Tomorrow Ghost Shell, and the Wise Owl Projection. We've also got a new emote called Projecting Teammate, which I was lucky to get in an engram. You also have the In With The New Ship, Frozen Amorous Shell, Package Projection, the new Frostvale Vest and Boots for the Winter Event, and you've got some Baker's Pouches to get ingredients for the Dawning Event. On the second page, you've got the Cringe Emote, Cranking Dance, Inexorable Sparrow, October Dash Sparrow, even though it's December, Grim Fox Ship, Pitfall Salta, E5D Ship, Valar Chevron Ghost Shell, Quilt and Ink Projection, War Painted Ornament for the Hunter's Foe Tracer Exotic, One Terrible Scream Ornament for the 1000 Voices, Coop Domain for Suros Regime, Guiding Light Transmit Effect, Crucible Green Transmit Effect, Sunrise Warrior Shader, Metro Shift Shadow, and your usual boons. Next we've got the Director Reset, you've got your usual daily heroic story missions, complete free to gain powerful gear, Vanguard Strikes, again complete free to gain powerful gear with their mods this week being Void Singe, Glass and Heavyweight. This week's Nightfall choices we have the Strange Terrain Strike with its strike specific loot being the Braytech Osprey which is a legendary rocket launcher, the Arms Dealer and its strike specific loot is the Tilt Fuse which is an exotic sparrow. Then we have the Hollowed Lair with its strike specific loot being the Mindbender's Ambition which is a legendary shotgun so if you haven't got any of these yet you may want to start your grind to try and get some decent rolls on the shotgun and the rocket launcher. You've also got your usual Gambit reset, complete one match to gain powerful gear and three matches to gain powerful gear. Then in Crucible we have a second week of Mayhem. This is by far my favourite PvP game mode in the Destiny universe and it's such a shame that it's a limited time event. I think it should be around as a permanent game mode, hopefully Bungie realise how much that people just love mayhem after running it for two weeks and hopefully we get to keep it as a full time game mode also if you're still grinding out baking for the dawning event with eva's holiday oven then running mayhem seems to be the fastest and just easiest way to gain a lot of essence of dawning so i definitely recommend grinding mayhem out as much as you can this week the weekly flashpoint is over on Nessus this week, so make sure that you complete activities over there to gain more powerful loot, including the heroic adventure called Hack the Planet to gain yet another piece of powerful gear. And of course, don't forget to pay trusty old spider a visit to pick up some of his bounties over on the Tangled Shore. If you've got some time, I do recommend smashing out all of his second row of bounties for enhancement cores if you do need them, and this week's level 540 light level bounty that rewards you with more powerful gear. It's the Gravetide Summoner, which we only had two weeks ago, but I will We'll link my guide video down below in the description if you do want to check that out. Over in the Dreaming City, you'll find Petra chilling out in the Rai Sylvia area, and as usual, once you complete two weekly bounties from her, you'll be rewarded with powerful gear, which is the Ascendant Challenge bounty and the Blind Well activity completions. This week's powerful gear mission from her is the Dark Monastery, and as usual, completing a total of eight daily bounties will reward you with more powerful gear. This week's Ascendant Challenge is over in the Rai Sylvia area at the Heartbringer Seclude, and is the one with the Hive Sword, as I like to call it. But I We'll get a guide video up on that at some point this week. 
And that is it for this week's weekly reset video. I hope you will have a great week jumping on that Destiny grind train in between shopping for last minute Christmas presents, of course, as it's exactly one week away from Christmas and I've still got presents to buy. Thank God for Amazon Prime. Anyways, if you like the video, then drop a like on it to put a smile on my face. And if you're new to the channel, then be sure to hit that sub and notification button. To stay up to date with all my latest videos. Have an awesome week, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next video.